Welcome to the Ventura Rock Spot. Each episode, we're going to be highlighting musicians in and around Ventura County, as well as those who come here to play. We hope you enjoy. Why did we choose to be a punk band? We didn't. Punk chose us. <laughs> we are uh, we're on Facebook at uh, the Hell Two Pays, uh, the Hell Two Pays, not to be confused with Hell Two Pay, which apparently is another Canadian band. Nebraska. Nebraska. Sorry. Uh, the band started in late 2017. Um, I left Hard Six and wanted to start a project. And uh, actually, the name came up during a tour to uh, through Nevada and Utah. And uh, we were just joking around in the van. This was a Hard Six tour, and uh, Alex came up with the name The Hell Two Pays, and we thought. It'd be hilarious to put this spoof band together and do funny songs about Trump and all the shenanigans. Uh, I started taking notes. We had a bunch of like ridiculous song titles and stuff. And uh, after I left that band, I thought, I'm going to start that band. It's going to be a punk rock project. And uh, early on, it was kind of evident that we don't take ourselves seriously, but our songs aren't really wacky for the most part. So they're more serious and thought provoking. Hi, I'm Drake Gooligan of the Hell Two Pays. I play this thing. I have two scorpions, one named Mittens, the other named His Majesty Citizen Snips. Hey, I'm BMAC. I play guitar in the Hell Two Pays, and I have a 22-pound uh, pug named Sammy. He's about 11 years old now. I'm six, and I play drums for the Hell Two Pays. And I have two cats, one named Winston, after Winston Churchill, because he's a hero of mine. And then I got Winston the Buddy recently, named Franklin, after Franklin Delano Roosevelt. Uh, hello, my name's Mike. I play bass in the Hell Two Pays, and I have a leopard gecko named Mr. Lizard. We wouldn't consider ourselves like a really heavy punk band um, and we we go kind of all over the place with our songs I mean you, we'll play some some that's somewhat heavy and the next song will not be so it, it could just go kind of anywhere but we're not really compared to other bands out here really heavy band uh, sometimes we are um, compared to punk rock from the 80s, which I think is fair. Uh, a few of us in this band grew up in the 80s, and so maybe there's some influence there, but uh, we, do try to, we do try to play a variety of, of uh, styles and speeds as well, because you know, we just like to keep it interesting. I think all of our songs, whether it's a, uh, a really heavy song or whether it's a ballad, we, uh, we, uh, we care a lot about the melody too. We want the song to be interesting, we want it to have a hook, we want it to be something that sticks in your head long after you've left the gig or long after you've turned off the CD.
People seem to like us. And what more could you want? We're always talking about what the next thing we can do at a show is, whether it's to uh, to bring out the Trump pinata or to uh, yeah to bring out the uh, the podium with the uh, presidential seal on it, or uh, you know these guys dressing up like uh, Secret Service or this guy like the the president. We're uh, we're always thinking about what the next thing we can do to to just uh, keep bringing people out to the shows over and over again. Finally, trying to work on new music. It's been a it's been a while. We we got the CD done, been just playing the stuff off the CD, and now finally we're just starting to get new stuff out, which is cool. I think the most important thing as a musician is just to, to be out there, have fun, be with uh, other like-minded people who, uh, who you like hanging around and who, uh, who have the same goals as you. And uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's all about having fun and, and if you're up there on stage having fun, the crowd comes right along with you. I will mirror BMAC's uh, thoughts about that, I think definitely having fun and uh, really not taking yourself seriously, again we do musically but then on stage we just want to just let go and, and uh, these guys are so awesome and uh, there's really no egos in this band which is really refreshing. Musically, the other thing that's really important for us is just to be really tight as a band. Whether it's the, you know, the simplest two, three chord song, or whether it's something much more complex. I mean, we've got to just be like that tight, drilled in as a band. And um, you know, that's been really cool playing with these guys for for over a year. Is just that uh, you know we get better and better every show, and we're just uh, anticipating what we're gonna, what each one of us is gonna do, and just stay right on it. And it's just the best feeling in the world when you. Uh, get off stage knowing that that show just went off flawlessly. One of the things that keeps me going is this cool knit, this small knit like uh, community of punk rockers in Ventura. Everyone's really cool with each other. There doesn't seem to be any attitudes about, oh, I don't want to play with that band or whatever. Uh, that's really cool and it just uh, is really, um, uh, energizing. <laughs> beer. Lots of beer. I'm doing my makeup now. I'm gonna put on a hell of a show, girl.